Hey guys, welcome to Wild Sides. Today, we're gonna be learning how to catch and cook crawfish. Let's get right to it. So one tip is that you probably should have more than one person looking for crawdads. That's why I hired my friend, Derek. Derek knows a lot about reptiles, amphibians, so we gotta keep him focused today. So Derek, what are we going to catch? If you see a water snake and a crawdad, which one are you gonna catch? The crawdad. That's right. So now, we're gonna demonstrate a few ways to catch the crawfish. So we're doing pretty good so far, but another quick little tip is when you're flipping the rock, you always flip it, if the current's coming this way, you flip it to where the current hits the, the bottom of the rock. That way, so if the crawdad decides to shoot, it will, it'll be a lot harder than coming with the current. Jack might have mentioned that I like snakes. Well, this is a mid or er, a northern water snake. And as you can see how he's flattening his head out, he's trying to imitate a cotton mouth. So that way he looks scary. And they have a lot of teeth and whenever they bite, it's scarier than it you would think it is. And it doesn't hurt that much. So he bit me here, 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 and there. So he just left my index finger alone. Hey guys, we caught a quite a few good ones. Um, we're done with the catching part, so it's so now to the cooking part. The first step is to chill them in cold water, which we have already done here. And the second step is to rinse them off in clean regular water. So that's what we're gonna do right now. That's a good idea. Oh, you're a nice one. So the first thing we need to do is put the strainer in our pot of water that you should have. The reason why the strainer is in here is so that you could take it out easily, take your food out easily. So, first ingredient, orange please. Lemon please. Second, our awesome bag of spices. Just plop it in like a tea bag. Kinda like that. Next, half of the garlic. Some other ingredients that we have are uh, sausage, corn, some onion, uh, mushrooms, potatoes. Um, the reason why we haven't added those yet is because we have to get this stuff to a boil first. So we were gonna boil over a fire, but as you can see, it's about to rain, or here is about to rain. So we're gonna have to learn how to use a stove.
mixture is boiling, we will add the potatoes and the onions. Now we'll give it five more minutes until we add the next ingredients. So now it's time to add the mushrooms. And the sausage. Now the main ingredient, the crawfish. So we're going to stir them around for a little bit and then we will cover it and wait about five minutes until we add our next ingredient. So I've just turned the heat off and now we're going to add a special ingredient, shrimp. The reason why we're adding shrimp is because we're going to have a big old feast tonight. Now we're going to stir it around to get the shrimp down kind of under the mixture. Now we'll add our another ingredient, corn. So now we're going to let it sit with the heat off for around 17 and a half minutes. So we're now going to take our strainer, strain all the water out. Wait till all the water's completely out. And now, we go to the garage. So the reason we came to the garage is because we can't really do it outside because it's pouring rain. So I hope you like our setup. We spent a long time on it. Let's pour our delicious looking crawfish boil in. That looks yummy. And I told you guys we were having a feast. Get all that nice good stuff in there. There it is. I hope you enjoyed learning how to catch and cook crawfish. My name's Jack. Be nimble, be quick, and I'm staying right here because it's really good. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs>